That's the little guy I was telling you about behind you. What's up, guys? That's Money Bag. He's funny little guy. There, I'll show you some adults if you want to see them. Look at that. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. That they're is patterns. that is ridiculous. I've played with her pretty rough before, and she'll go running, bucking, and all this stuff. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, but see, she just, this is when she starts getting excited. All right, you guys, another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, and today we have Brian at the ranch. We're gonna show him around, and we're gonna see what we get tour around, what we have different today. We gotta feed all the animals. The rain just went by, so we have a little bit of no time of rain, so let's get back and show you around. I'm excited, man. This is absolutely epic. I mean, just even seeing it from here is crazy, so let's go, let's go do this. Let's do it, let's all get right, to the back. Cool. Hey, this is what I call it, my little Noah's Ark. This is your little Noah's Ark. Well, we've got Noah with us, so uh, yeah. that's perfect. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And it's crazy. I mean, there's just everywhere you look, there's more animals. And wow, just look at this. We've got you know, yellow foots here, red, red foots over here. Yeah, there's, I mean, a, there's a group in here about 5.20. 5 and then there's a 2. Point, uh, 10 of yellow foots. Wow. Eastern, there's like a 5.20 as well. Oh, a lot. my goodness. And gracious. we can show you inside a bunch of babies. It's babies? the end of season right now, so there's okay. really not that many eggs, but everyone's breeding up a storm. And yeah, so pretty much all I really do, all I do every single day is just throw veggies and fruits all around really? and let them find out. I'll never put it in one spot really because kind in the wild, yep. in the wild, it, this doesn't stop in right. one spot. You know what I mean? So exactly. I just throw stuff all around. Wow. I just do this every day. Oh my God. It's my me, thing. Yeah. Let me throw one. But we could keep some apples as well if you want and we could go feed them to the cow and everything. So I'll put some to the oh side gosh, actually. Yeah, perfect. And we could use these things and it'll just swallow them whole. That's perfect. You <laughs> swallow them whole. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. This much food pretty much? Yeah, I go through it all. I get it donated to a, a good buddy of mine has a cool uh, spot and gives me everything. That's awesome. I mean, that's that's amazing. Yeah, I've been doing this for about eight years now. Exactly. That's so okay. Best way, because this is all going in the garbage and it's right. perfectly fine. You can eat this stuff. Right, yeah, and put it to good use. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is just amazing in the sense that uh, it's as natural as you can get too, you know? I mean, lots of variety of food, lots of different stuff. What do you look at? Oh yeah, at? and oh, look who's coming got, right now. We got a little we You can take a little of fruit, and you can hand that to him, he'll eat a whole. Let's go, come on. You guys can go check that out. Come on, buddy. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. Got some fruit. <laughs> Maybe not everybody, but one of you guys. Here you go. <laughs> you want some fruit? Hey. There he goes. They got too many people. Yeah, he's like, I don't like this. That's amazing. Can I just throw a pie him? Yeah. Willie. 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 Come here. Eat that up, bro. There you go. <laughs> he just actually like shed and everything. Like he was all black looking right. and he just peeled completely and got a whole nice fresh little really? coat. All the hair falls off and it all comes back. Wow. It happens every year. Well, Willie didn't like me very much because <laughs> he did get a little tomato. So that's all good. So I had this little gator in here. His name is Louie. Little, Louie. Little American right. alligator. Exactly. And then I have spectacle tamings. In I'm here as well. To, yeah. This thing's like around three, four feet. Not three, four feet. It's like two feet. I'm standing there. <laughs> And yeah, they're just all in here. <laughs> He's just going in, inside with the uh, this, you know, spectacle caimans are definitely not something you want to get bit by, but uh, yeah, no. but hey, that's all right. And all the spider webs are always here. The water is a little murky, you know? yeah, but it's just yeah. nice and natural. I have this little, these, uh, hi, uh, what is this called, Joey? Hibiscus. No, it's not hibiscus. No, it's not. Hi oh, hydrilla. It? Not hydrilla. No, hydrilla. I, get, I always get confused. Uh, hyacinth. 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 There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is this called? Again? Something with an H. They grow nice little purple flowers. They're pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, they'll be careful. I don't want you to get bit. Feeling around for it? Yeah. You know, noodling in here. Oh gosh, noodling with us back, yeah. With my, with no, with no shoes on. Perfect. Can't find anybody. Oh, there, 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 there. there, there. Louie, where you at, buddy? Yep, don't know. They've been getting better and better every time. Oh, there she is. There he is. Louie's yeah. always the easiest one ah, to get. Ah, that's good, yeah. That's and then the specs. Yeah, they're little, so they're a little fast. Bit more difficult. Yeah, but a little American alligator. You have one of these, right? Yeah, we you have a, a little bit of them. Yeah, we have a few of them, but we love them. You know, yeah. they're uh, they're just the puppy dogs of the crocodile world. You Definitely. Know? Yeah, just, not like the specs. Those yeah. specs, not fun. That is. But I had yeah. a guy for two years now. Little guy. It's awesome. That's pretty cool. 
I love it. So, uh, let's get out of here, buddy. <laughs> well, you did good. I'm glad that he didn't get the, <laughs> If he would have accidentally got the spec, it might have been a little bit of a different story. Oh, yeah. They're, they're spicy. They hiss. They're crazy. They're, uh, they're different. They're awesome. I love them, though. But, yeah, they're definitely spicy. So, these are Burmese black mountain yeah. tortoises. That's a big female. That is a sex male, so that should be a pair, and then these two I'm not too sure. Okay. But uh, she should actually be almost ready to breed in the next, almost. hopefully, year or two. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because these, these are big tortoises. I yeah, mean, they're yeah. all like, considered like the fourth largest tortoise, yeah. and cool thing about them is they don't lay in the dirt. They make a big nest like crocodiles. Oh, really? So they make the pile of leaves, and then they put the eggs inside the leaves. I've always loved them. I yeah. mean, they remind me a little like Aldalbers or Galapagos. Definitely, you know, yeah. Like little they look like a Galapagos. You put my yeah. Galapagos over here right yeah. now, it's going to look the same. Yeah, it looks almost identical. It's so, so They're wild. considered like the one of the most ancient tortoises, too. Really? Yeah, real cool. And they'll eat like meat. They'll eat rats and stuff. Like, they want to eat my toes. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, they're crazy. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah, they're ready to go. And they had a whole pile of fruits and veggies yesterday, but they don't stop eating. Yeah, and these guys like a, are these guys like a little bit more tropical? Or yeah. They, yeah, they love the rain and all love that the stuff. They're in the yeah. jungles and everything. Exactly. Yeah. The smallest <laughs> species of munjack. And uh, we can walk inside of here if you want to jump yeah, in here. Sure. And jump over if you want. So this is going to be an enclosure for probably like all uh, Asian animals, really, because these guys are from Asia. So I was thinking to actually put the mountain tortoises in here with them. Oh, okay. And then this is going to be an aviary as well. Oh, so you're going to put screening that again? Yeah, this, that's why I have the two big poles here. Okay. I'm going to put this, close it all up, and it's going to be, what I really want to focus in here is probably like Asian fruit doves. So they're really, really bright colors. They're really cool colors, and not a lot of people work with them. So yeah. I think it'd be cool species of bird to put in here. Oh my gosh! And there's a lot of different types. So why not try? Yeah. Yeah. But again, I love that about you. You're like working with things just are just yeah. Weird so like for you, you know, my property is only two acres, so it's starting to like I guess fill up. Yeah. So why not start working upwards? I gotta go up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, all about that. It's yeah, exactly. literally. That's what we're doing motto. right now. We're going. We we're out of space, so we're yeah. gonna go up a floor. And why that's not? Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's why I did, did the building so big too. So two stories. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. These guys are so beautiful. They are really cute, man. So they were uh, raised by me, bought or raised. But when obviously there's a lot of people, they're deer, they're skittish, they're prey yeah. animals. But if you had like vegetables and stuff, they'll probably eat at her hands and everything. They're pretty cool little guys. Yeah, they seem to be curious. Very know? curious. Yeah, like they're afraid but curious. Yeah, they're not bad. But this would be their whole enclosure. They're just here right now. Just little by little opening and expanding yeah, it for them. Exactly. But I made it this side eight foot okay. so that when you look into the closure, it looks taller. It looks oh, bigger. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So all these poles on this side are going to look a lot bigger instead of being six foot right here. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So there's going to be netting going all the way up. But this won't get done for a little while because that's the main focus yeah, right now. Yeah, doing the other aviary. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And, and then, then I have a really cool building getting placed there. Not too many people know yet, but they'll see that soon. Okay, yeah. They're really cool. You gotta watch this channel to find out what's going to happen <laughs> with the cement slab. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so over there, I really kind of abandoned that spot. I dedicated that area to be its aquaponics to grow tilapia okay. so that I could feed my otters and feed my monster fish. So if I ran out of money or whatever it is and the supermarket's closed, you go in there, scoop up fish scoop and feed it. Yeah, All organic, everything fed by me, and I don't have to worry about pesticides or any of that crazy stuff. That's a good exactly. idea. Exactly. So I did like yeah, I dedicated that little spot just for that. Right. And here we have spotted lake wood turtles, Honduran wood turtles, all different types of stuff. Let me see if I can grab you a spot. Oh yeah, I see this here right there. Yeah. These are pretty cool. These are one of my favorites. I was actually one of the first ones to produce these guys. Nobody really? wanted to work with them. Really? And they were just like little twenty-five dollar turtles that were just brought in from imports. Yeah. And I've had them now for like four years. And I've been producing them left and right. Oh my gosh, they're cool. Yeah, they're cool little guys. I love them. Real personable, really cool little pet turtles. Pretty dope. And there's Asians in there, Asian box turtles. And then like you can check that out over there. That's just I try to keep this area like quiet kind of yeah. so that the turtles do better that way. Yeah, they yeah. lay just so much alone. better. Just leave yeah. them alone. Don't mess them so much. And down in there, there's a uh, pond turtles, spotted pond turtles, oh, North American spotted pond turtles. Turtle. Yeah. But they're all in there. There's a ton this of them in there. cool. I mean, yeah, it's so so natural. There's a skunk inside of here. He's really, really, really old. Somebody oh, gets oh, him. He's oh, not a skunk. Oh, no, not a skunk. Yeah, he's, oh, like him. Him. Yeah, he's a funny little guy. This area yeah. is really... My channel is waiting for it. It's really, really soon. You guys, you guys are going to see this video, and I guarantee in the next month or two, I'll be placing that order, and I'm going to show you guys on YouTube as soon as I place it, and let's see how long the order takes until it gets here. But I don't even know, like, how, like, tell me how you put up netting. So this I've been talking be to a lot of, up. like, experts that have actually built aviaries and everything, yeah. zoos and everything like that. So the way this is going to be going is I have to climb to the top, maybe get some type of boom or something, be placing eye hooks, eight eye hooks on top of that pole, because there has to be a rope to every single one of these poles oh, right. to come so, down yeah. to it and come straight down. So then I can then you got like can... a pulley system and tie it down to make it mm. tight. Then there'll be a one perimeter rope going all the way around. So the whole goal is, so the netting's gonna be up there like a tent. 
come out to those poles and then drop straight down. Drop straight down. That so it's gonna really be like a tough. giant baseball net bow at that peak so that that's not a sag. Exactly, not a sag. Yeah, so that's oh. the goal. And more trees, more trees so the trees could grow. Yeah. And then all these poles, I actually just brought in some vines and stuff that my buddy gave me. All the poles will be covered with vines so right. the poles are not shown. Yeah. All natural, I put branches, tree boxes, everything. So much more work that has to be placed in here. Cameras, like, Oh my it's gosh. a big process, but I've been thinking and I want to get it done once and once done only. Yeah. So yeah. that's well, why I'm taking my time. I saw about it myself. Almost there. Of course they have Almost there. amazing ponds right here. Before, before Greg and everybody came, I went out and I had a buddy that does landscaping. They were taking down some oak trees that were permitted to come out. They got and made it as natural as I can. Different trees, different logs placed it in here. It looks great. Yeah. I can tell the donkey's excited too. Oh yeah. <laughs> But look at how amazing this is. I mean, it's, it's crazy. They yeah, these turtles be on the pond. They can go off on the bank. They can go wherever they want and do what they want. The fish are obviously a pretty good fed. They just eat everything. And yeah, they live life. Everybody lives life. I swear to gosh, I could just stay out here. I could just like so stay like, out here the whole time. There's something I really want to do in here too. Those two poles there, I'm gonna put in. That's my giraffe one day. Oh they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my giraffe right now. <laughs> one day, one day. Yeah. I want to put a like a tree house up there so you can sit there and oh, chill and look at the whole entire oh, thing. Oh my gosh, that'd be so but cool. But the way wood is expensive right now, I'm going to hold back a yeah, little. Yeah, you got time. You got exactly. lots of time. You're young. You're going to be good. Right now, you got a chair over here. That's all that <laughs> Exactly. 100%. Will you have a giraffe someday? Yeah, not on this property. Not on this I'm property. working on another property soon. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's... Let's head to the goat area. Let's go check out some yep. stuff in there. Go ahead, some goats. I bought these as young ones, and they were supposed to be vulture guinea fowl. Really yeah. rare species of uh, guinea fowl. But uh, they're hybrids. They're mixed with a normal guinea fowl with that one. Oh. So they're two females. I wish they were purebreds, but they weren't. The okay. purebreds are real tall, crazy, oh. crazy birds. But uh, hopefully, maybe I could get a male and maybe get like get yeah, them back get, to like yeah, vulture yeah, guineas. Yeah, 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 get some females yeah. and stuff. And then these guys are crazy. Very, very curious. They're very young. I had them since they were little teeny hatchlings. And um, Tyler Nolan's actually put one on my leg. Oh, that Pretty looks dope. cool. Yeah, that's really yeah. dope. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I mean that's a really. This is the female right here, and that one's the male. Oh, the female's real curious. The male. We'll hit you every once in a while. Really? Ah, oh, that's all right. He's not bad. That's and then she, my goal is hopefully she'll uh, nest on top of that palace. So I think that would be really cool to have some eggs up in there. Oh my gosh, yeah, all right. <laughs> so I have uh, Nigerian dwarf goats. I've had goats for now over 14 years. I have right. a pair of uh, miniature donkeys. I'll show you them. They're painted donkeys. Yeah. And then just miscellaneous of chickens and different types of poultry and stuff that just runs around through here. I used to breed them like know, crazy, but that's I know really we good just really focus onto the tortoises. Oh, he pissed me off. So this is just like my little hobby. Oh, it's all the time. Gazi, you want this? Look. <laughs> my favorite donkey right here. You want this, girl? An apple? Yes. There you go, girl. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And then that's Benny, her boyfriend, that gets kicked off. <laughs> All females inside of here, <laughs> male on that side. Oh, stay so yeah, separate them. Yeah. So they don't breed. They're not they breed nonstop. Right. That's a little boy, but he just got sold. But um, yeah, it's pretty dope. If you want, we can walk in there pretty quickly and we can have feed him. She could be pushy, yeah, but I know you guys are good. Yeah, so no, yeah, we can pushy. walk in. And yeah, that little guy, that's what I was telling you about. That's football. This is the, this is the 15 year old. Right? Yeah, that's my first chicken football right there. You can take an apple and you just put the whole thing in her mouth, no problem. Oh, yeah. I've had her for about 12 years too now, and she's just a cool girl. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves her. Because, I mean, you see cows everywhere, but to go and hang out with a cow is really, really dope. So that's why it's pretty dope. Wow. She's never been bred. She looks like she's a freaking bull. She is a giant. Yeah, enormous, awesome. man. Enormous. Do you want a little, do you want a little something, donkey, donkey? And that's Benny. Get it, And then Benny. this is Captain right here. He's a smelly little guy, but that's what male. Goat smell like not nice. And she's still going. Dude, this is. I'm telling you. I said she's still going. Oh yeah. Intern for you for like a month. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> that little thing right behind you—that's a feeder, emu feeder, so that the goats and the donkey and stuff don't go inside of it and eat all the food. Get out, really? Yeah. Oh boy, she got all up in my hand. <laughs> She saw the eye, that's what it was. So yeah. the eye of the oh, camera. Yeah, it. yeah, and then I just, I got all this fencing done. So this is all high gain fencing reg regulation for, I can put elk in here if I want to. Wow. buffalo. Whatever I really elk wanted. Elk would be tight, bro. Well, I, what I'm thinking is this would be like an area that 
I will have babies and then bring them, raise them up, I'll raise them up and, and then move them to my new property. Yeah. So it'd be perfect. Perfect, yeah. People can see them, enjoy them, but then when they get a little too wild, go to the ranch. <laughs> go to the ranch. Real ranch. Something else. She's cool. As long as she's eating and she's not pushing, she's good. But yes. when that one, oh, she's she's a big animal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a nice apple mouth right there. Eating a lot of apples. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, this is the blonde emu. Female white emu over there. She stays back a little more, but. Oh, oh she just throws it out. Oh I don't think she meant to do that. <laughs> that was pretty. Did you get that? She's like, I'm she out of here. Out of I don't need you. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That was hilarious. Yeah, Benny has had uh, two kids. Really? Ooh, yeah. Been getting busy. No girls yet, only two boys, so I didn't keep any back yet. I really okay. want to keep a girl back. Oh, yeah. But one day. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I've played with her pretty rough before, and she'll go running, bucking, and all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but see, she just this is when she starts getting excited. She just wants to play. I got to get a big pole in the middle here, like a big brush, so she can run hard. But she knows me because she yeah. knows I play hard with her. Look, yeah. he's peeing on me. This thing's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> just, look, he pees in his face. Oh, my God. And he licked it, bro. Yeah, that's how goats are. All right, so let's just get out of here before she starts playing too much. And then we gotta run because we have a wild bull on us. <laughs> what are you doing? You coming with us? Be careful. You coming with us? You coming with us? <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Captain, you stay there. He's like, I'm gonna sneak in, try to get some girls. <laughs> Actually, I have something to show you as well. Really? I got. He's not alive anymore, but we have Avatar. Oh, Avatar. That's That was like the first thing that really, when I first saw your stuff, yeah. I saw Avatar. Unbelievable. So Avatar was born the day before the fire. Oh. I had that incubator inside of my garage, and over there, I had all my turtles and fish yeah. and everything, and I lost it all that yeah. next day. It was uh, July 3rd, right before the 4th of July. Big thunderstorm came through, all that stuff, and I'm known to getting hit by lightning. Like seven years ago, my truck got hit by lightning. I was on 27, blacked out. What? And just ended up on the side of the road. Oh then the building caught on fire, got hit by lightning right after a storm. Had an avocado tree there, caught on fire, got hit by lightning. Oh so when there's lightning, everybody knows to get oh, away from me. It's nice to know. And that. I always get chills every single yeah. time I talk about it because it's definitely a scary moment yeah, when there's, there's lightning around. It's looking a little dark. No, I, I swear yeah. I get really like <laughs> thunderstorms. Like right, I told good, you, when yeah. it's good, it's good. You're good. I know. We literally <laughs> came out and he's like, oh no, it's over. Yeah, it's done raining. I'm like, what? Is he a weatherman? <laughs> no, he can be very, very, very aggressive during breeding season. My buddy that produces them. Uh, his best friend got hit in the arm by one and broke his wrist. What? Wow. But it's not breeding season, luckily, so they're oh nice and calm. No, go over there and panic. And this time's the best time to come because the nocturnal animals come out like Petrie. Oh, look at it. Doesn't like anybody. Hey. Obviously, Kinkajus. But with me, Kinkajou? perfect with me. Yeah, no problem. I could go in there, no problem. No one got bit by Kinkajus. Yeah, sure. yesterday. I got bit one time by him. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. That was enough. Yeah, that was enough. <laughs> you guys ready? Oh! <laughs> 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 that was wild. <laughs> he just gulped it in. Like, these guys get <laughs> no. I can tell you that. They get freaking eat. I mean, look at these guys. Look at wow, them. so oh, beautiful. Those are uh, about to one. That's awesome. Those azules wow. are ready to go. You put your hand in there, you will get hit hard. I mean, he's probably, Joey, how much do you think he weighs? Probably like five pounds. Honestly, all day long when we took five him out, pounds. like I mean, five to six pounds. They're what? solid. They're solid. Like in the water, they might not look good, but I'm telling yeah. you, that fish is solid. Wow. Yeah, they're really, really cool. It's awesome like a fish right here. It's like a big shrimp, this guy. <laughs> yeah, they'll jump out. You gotta always have a netting on because they will yeah, jump, out. jump out. Yeah. 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 You gotta, so that's water. something. I know two people already that have had monster aeroplimas and they've lost them. So I'm dedicating to make sure these I don't lose them. Yeah, you want to keep them. I gotta like do that. something that is strong enough that they're not getting out. Yeah. yeah. I love these plecos. They're just albinos. Yeah, albino plecos. I have a bunch of them. I have different spots. I move them around and everything. They're real neat little guys. Look at this guy. This little guy with the strength. That's showing you color with this guy. He's already out. So cool. That's awesome. He was literally like six inches like a month and a half ago. That really? Aeropyma? Like yeah. Crushing, so one right? cool thing about like the uh, Aeropymas and Aeropymas and everything, you always want them to look up at you. Right, yeah. Because they live in the water, the top water. Right. They're always looking up, looking up, praying right. stuff. So that's why some of these Aeropymas stuff, they get like that bug eye, because they're looking in the tank, they're looking up, down at you. So they get all like messed up and stuff. So now there's a lot of people who's probably not going to show off. Yeah, he'll be alright. But he's been doing really good. He's been coming around a little that night. Yeah, he's not gonna want to come. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he was just right here. Yeah, he was just here. I thought he was gonna do it. But he bounces, pops everywhere. He's a cool little guy. But he'll eventually get introduced to the big girl. Wow. Yeah, there's some Look nice ones. Look at that. Got there. 
Look at this, dude. Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous. Just put that in my pocket. Like that, and then like <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, little Easterns. Like literally oh light red foot. They almost look like they're almost like hypos, but they're they not. They do they're look really hypo. Light. Yeah, yeah, they look super hypo. Crazy light. And then Beautiful. first elongated I hatched out this year. Pretty dope. Oh, those little are guys. cool. I love oh, Held these back. Really cool. Wow. Cool little guys. Yeah, I mean, I've had all different types of bright ones. So they're really cool. <laughs> we need some babies. So we, we should get some, right? Yep. Everything on the bottom I keep, they're mine. And everything on top I'm starting to sell and all that stuff, except this guy this is like a killed box turtle. Pretty like rare species. Okay. This is one of my favorites. I really like like Rhino Columbia's wood turtles. <clears throat> right. They're all different species of them. Mm -hmm. And this one was something I really, really like. This is a Colombian blue eyed uh, mm -hmm. Rhino Columbia's. And it's a female. I got to get him a, get her a boyfriend, but they're rare, rare little guys. That's awesome. Ah, this is a hash one. Real cool. A lot of these guys are ready to get new homes on the bottoms, but they're Gosh, all different types of stuff. Look at this. Yeah, Whoa. Central American wood turtles. Central American wood turtles. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, the colors. I mean, they're, they call them painted turtles. That's spotted like wood turtles. Nobody yes, likes them. I know, yeah. These are from last year, like two years ago. Yeah. And then this is from this year. I think they're awesome. I mean, they're, they're dark colored turtles, but they're dope. They're super cool. I don't know why anyone wouldn't like those. They're so if stuff. nobody buys these, these guys are just going to go into the apiary. Just, just raise them up. I just the keep pond, on raising the them. Pond. Yeah, they'll just live over there. Check that out. <laughs> yeah, there's a cool little guy. Wow. A couple little bounder red ears and snow red ears and stuff in there. Just a couple little red ears. I'm in love with these guys, though. The Centrals, they're dope. Oh, gosh, they're cool. So they're cool. some of my favorites. We I mean, can walk over there this. and show you some adults if you want to see them. Look at that. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. That is, that is ridiculous. I have a ton of eggs from them now. I already have a ton of eggs from these guys. Season just started for everybody. Yeah. It'll bark at you two times, smell your feet, and then you're ready to go. Are you kidding? I've had him since he was smaller than he could know, size of his foot. Oh, uh, he's that. 10 months old now. He was a, this What's little up, pig. buddy? How I was you doing? feeding him with a syringe for two months, every two hours. So I'm dad, my mom's mom, and yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Let me just walk over here and he just come over here. But yeah, he follows me wherever I go. Yeah, it's so awesome. awesome. Like, he won't, he'll won't. go in the pond, but he won't go deep. He'll only go really in the pond if I go in the pond with him. <laughs> so, like, he has to follow me. Oh, my God. Wow. Of course, you guys know that I want an Asian small clawed otter. Well, I want a pair of them, to be honest with you. So yeah, definitely get a pair, because yeah. he's a handful. Yeah, yeah. Because if not, he's like this. He's a mate. He needs a mate. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's attached. They are so Look crazy. At Look at this. Wow. See, I go out, he goes out. <laughs> Wait, I'll stand right over here so you guys enjoy him and stuff. He's a cool wow. little guy. Oh, my gosh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what a cute guy. Hey, go say hi, Oliver. Hi, Oliver. What's up, Oliver? Oliver? Hi, buddy. Yeah. Oh my God. I have to teach him how to swim, <laughs> do all that stuff. Yeah. What'd you think? What'd you very, think? Very, very touchy little guy. And in the last two months, he has become a cat. He climbs everything. Really? He's on every spring, sink, everything. Just jumps up on everything. <laughs> hey, buddy boy. Hey, Oliver. Oh, look at, him. look at that. Glass. Come here, Oliver. Where are you going? Where yeah, you he going? follows me everywhere. Go, Oliver. <laughs> Come here. Where are you going? Get over here. Come here. Let me show you your teeth. <laughs> you seen these teeth? Oh, I've no. seen them. Yeah, yeah. Not in person. Yeah, there's little teeth on them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was. Uh, he just got done with all his shots, his rabies shots, and he's up to date for everything. Yeah. Ready to go. Hey, let's go. Come back over here, Oliver. Let's stand on. Come on, Oliver. Wow. How cool, man. Come here, Oliver. Get over here. Get in the water. Go I mean, is that crazy? Yeah. I think it's, I've never seen it follow somebody. Like that, I think know? it's because I can't raise it so yeah. much. He's just bonded. Just bonded. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. What's going on? Yeah, there's a lot of doggies. The little puppies. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're endless. Oh, hey, God. puppies. Oh! <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Yeah, so these are all my little exotic bullies. They're oh cool little guys. We show buddies. These guys are amazing. I so love this is the one that colors. started it all right here. Come on, you're mine. Yeah, that right there. You're mine. That's bad. You're That's mine my forever. First female I bought. You're mine forever. Oh, you, you love this, huh, Noah? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. It's like a blue brindle what pattern. Are you doing? Yeah. What I are love you the doing? blue ones like that. Those what are, are so cool. What's going on? Hey, big what mama. What are you doing? 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 What are you doing
<laughs> no, no, it's in heaven. No, it's in heaven. <laughs> I think they're really liking the bullies over here. Everyone's having a great time. They want to see Bab and Money and everybody here hanging out. See, that's the little guy I was telling you about behind you. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> that's Money Bab. He's funny little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Having a blast there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Had one of my workers. Zeta, come here. Everybody's gonna come out right now in a couple seconds. My big boy. Jim, oh, I can the first see it. One, they're all there, dancing out. Well, he's not locked up, but he's coming out. Check this one out, Brian. In here. Just watch your head, because everybody gets their head on him. But this guy right there. I've been here for 15 years. Uh, I had this as a quarter. That's wow. Really? Yeah, it's my first tortoise. Oh my gosh. My, I had a first old quarter. Big my old. First Central American wood. First radio slider. I have them all still here. So the females don't have names, but all the males do. So that's Rocky, that's Max, and then there's Jerry and Smiley. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video with Brian Barchai. Coming over to the ranch, we had a complete blast meeting all the animals, doing all kinds of cool stuff. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, if you haven't told your family and friends about Blake Exotic Animal Ranch, make sure you guys do that. And if you guys like this video, if we get up to 5,000 to 10,000 likes, we will fly out to Brian's facility and go check out his zoo, his facility, and uh, go check it out. So make sure you guys like this video, and I will see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone. Yeah.